Uh, for my standard 3.2, I chose to uh, do problem 316 and ask us for a spin of one half system undergoing rabbi oscillations. Assume that the resonance condition omega equals omega naught holds. Part A asks us to solve the differential equations for the coefficients alpha plus minus. We use results to find the transport state vector and, uh, right here, it's transform state vector and the state vector. Uh, assuming the most general initial state of the system. So from our book we see the differential equations are this, where delta omega is equal to omega minus omega naught. This is the difference between the angular frequencies of the rotating field and the long line precession due to the z component of the magnetic field. Uh, we know that omega equals omega naught, so uh, delta omega has to be equal to zero. We can rewrite our differential equations as such. <laughs> Alpha plus and minus are the coefficients of the transformed state vector. Uh, these differential equations comprise a or can comprise a transform Schrodinger equation, equation shown here. Uh, going further, we'll take the derivative of both sides of the differential equation, and we find that alpha plus t is equal to this, and alpha minus t is equal to this. Uh, the state vector solutions for arbitrary initial conditions are shown here. And we uh, subtract omega from omega 1 in the exponent. And then we say that when t is equal to 0, we have our initial state vector at t equals 0. And we know that the, uh, the generic initial state for a spin 1 half system is this. So using both of those information, pieces of information, we can solve for a and b. So we find that uh, a is equal to this and b is equal to this. Uh, part b asks us to verify that a pi pulse, which is omega 1 t plus pi, produces a complete spin flip. Calculate both the transform state vector and the state vector. <laughs> uh, so we know that uh, pi pulse is defined as omega 1 t equals pi. So this tells us that t is equal to pi over omega 1. So plumbing this into our uh, state vector, we find that uh, our state vector at t equals pi over omega naught is equal to this. And we observe that this is true. So our spin flip, our spin up and down probabilities are flipped since. Uh, probability of spin up is equal to sine squared theta over 2, which ends up being equal to uh, probability of spin down at t equals 0. And then probability of spin down of t is equal to cosine squared theta over 2. And this is equal to spin up at t equals 0. Uh, part C asks us to assume that the interaction time is such that omega 1 t equals pi over 2. Find the effect on the system if the initial state is spin up on the z axis. Since our state is initially at spin up on the z axis, then using our state vector at t equals 0, we find that a is equal to 1 half, b equals 1 half, um, and omega 1 t equals pi over 2. So the interaction time pi over 2 in the rotating frame rotates our state vector from uh, spin up on the z-axis to spin down on the y-axis. So using that information, we can uh, set our state vector equal to uh, spin down 
on the y-axis and then plug in our state vector that we found and we go through and we end up with this Uh, the frame rotation causes the rotation of the initial state down to the xy plane and then rotates around the z-axis at angular frequency omega. Uh, part D asks us to discuss the differences between the original reference frame and the rotating reference frame in light of our results. Uh, so our results showed us that the state vector in the original frame rotates at the precession frequency while in the rotating frame, the state vector is time independent. And this is my standard 3.2.